Hey guys, what up? Welcome to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. That's right. This is Let's Play I'm going to be doing between now and Pokemon X and Pokemon Y because I want to get stuff uploaded in that time and I didn't really feel like starting Pokemon Platinum because I don't see the point in starting a Pokemon game and stopping midway through and then continuing after X and Y, even though I'm doing that with this now, but I guess like a main game or a hack where the storyline is kind of, well, storyline is kind of important too, but this is sort of like a throwaway game in my opinion. And it's not, like, it's a side game, it's not an important Pokemon game, so, or not as important as those, so, I mean, yeah, I'm sure people won't be too upset with the lack of uploads on this between Pokemon, or, like, when X and Y comes out, everyone will be interested in that anyway, so, yeah, pretty much, this is a throwaway game, or a throwaway, uh, let's play, or temporary thing, unless you guys want me to continue it after X and Y, in which case I will, and, yeah, hopefully I'll get, like, the main game finished by then, I can do the after game after X and Y, which would be great, so, We'll just see what's going on here in this uh, entirely new adventure, as it says here, so yeah, let's just get started. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the Pokemon world, or world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay, let the interview begin. Alright, so on vacation outings, you want to go with others, obviously. Do you hate being the last person at the end? Yeah, I do actually hate that. Do you fall asleep without noticing? No, I generally know when I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Have you ever met a pit fall trap? No. Yeah, I laugh. Oh, I laugh so much. There's a person you like, but there's no opportunity to get close. What do you do? Um, might say hello, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's summer holidays. Where would you like to go? Uh, anywhere, really. There's a wall inside the road. Yeah, I'd pro I would probably take it. Um. I'm oh, my boy, hey girl. I am, in fact, a boy. Guy shocker, right? I know. I appear to be the naive type. You're highly curious and you love rare things. Doesn't. Yeah, that sounds about right, I guess. Your cheerful and carefree attitude should make things fun for the people around you. You do have one flaw. You can't be childish. You never sit still. You're always on the move. You can also be selfish, so you watch yourself. Or should watch myself, whatever. A naive person like you should be. Pokemon Totodile. Alright, so, um. We're Totodile, I guess that's pretty cool. This is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose the Pokemon you want as your partner from this group. Alright, so I think because some of the, this, like, this game can get really tough with some battles, so I think I am going to choose, uh, actually, yeah, I think we'll go with Pikachu as my partner. So I'm not going to go with like real names on this for people who were thinking I'd call myself Stu. I was actually considering it, but our partner here is going to be known as Cheeks the Pikachu. And yeah, I just find it funnier if you give like Pokemon in this names like that aren't real names because they're Pokemon. They I don't think they should have like real names, I guess. So cheeks is fine. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. You're finally awake. Great. Where is this? You're passed out over here. Or passed out here. I'm gonna see you. I'm glad to see Oh, I can't read. Glad to see you awake. I'm Cheeks. Glad to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around here before. Huh? You're a human. But you look like a normal Totodon in every way. It, it's true. I've turned into a Totodile. But why? I don't remember anything. Um, you're kinda weird. Your name? What's your name? My name? That's right, my name is... So yeah, as I said, I'm not gonna go with the usual, like, thing I've gone with calling myself, Stu. We're gonna call ourselves Jaws, I guess. Jaws the Totodile. Because Totodile has a big jaw. And big mouth, so yeah. Oh, Jaws is your name? <laughs> Jaws is your name. Well, it's a very funny name. This is coming from a guy named Cheeks, or a Pikachu named Cheeks, I mean, come on. Somebody, please help me. Huh? I hear shouts from over there. And a Butterfree's just coming. What's wrong? It's horrible. My Caterpie fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fissure opened in the ground, and my Caterpie fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? 
They must be enraged by the fissure and out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. This sounds bad. We have to help. Okay, uh, sure, I just found out I'm a Totodob, but we're gonna head into the tiny woods. And we gotta head for the destination. We can attack foes of Parsing A. Don't let the partner faint, or let our partner faint. And yeah, we just gotta set some stuff here. So, what we're gonna do is set the dungeon mode to fast. So, uh, we can move a lot faster in dungeons. I think I, that's something I need to sell. It. Yeah, that's cool. And, uh, that's fine. Actually, I'm gonna make this map shaded so I can, like, see where I've been and stuff. And, well, you can see it anyway, but we'll just go with that anyway. So, I'm gonna go to moves, and I want to, uh, move this one up there, and we want to set this. So, if I press, uh, R and A, I'll be able to use Scratch instead of just using, like, a normal sort of tackle move they have in here. Anyway, we just got some 26 Pokey, which is the currency in this game. And, of course, we get our first battle with one of these things, but... Uh, great, I pressed the wrong button, I think, as I press L and A, so I can use Scratch, which one-shots that. And we'll one-shot this thing, too, because Sunkern kind of sucks. And, yeah, we just want to take it out. So, dead end down this way, as you can see by the map, which is shaded. I mean, it's, like, easier for you guys to see as well. I guess it's shaded. And, yeah, we don't even have to fight all these guys, but I think we will anyway, because it's good for experience and whatever. And, Cheeks just grew up to level 16, or... Level 16, level 6. Solid 10 levels there, but, um, yeah... Cheek screwed to level 6, that's great. And its attack went up. Special attack, well, yeah, got the usual stat boost that you get in Pokemon, basically. So, the objective of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is pretty much to, like, help Pokemon that are in need, that are trapped in these Mystery Dungeons. And, uh, yeah, you just go downstairs to get to the next floor and stuff. Sometimes you'll get missions where you're, like, meant to collect a specific item or battle people and whatever. Or, not people, but battle other Pokemon to, like, stop bad people, I think, or bad, I say people, I mean bad Pokemon, but, yeah, we're just gonna lure this thing in here with a scratch, and there we go, and, yeah, I could pretty much just get through all the stairs quickly, but I'm gonna just take a look around and see what's going on here, got a massive boost in HP there, plus four, which is pretty sweet, this thing is, uh, well, Totodaw is a decently bulky Pokemon, so, I'm very happy with getting Totodaw, I would've been happy with all Pokemon, really, but, yeah, Cheeks gets up to level 7, so two levels up for Cheeks already, and we're only in the first dungeon, that's pretty sweet. And yeah, like, I've kind of, I think I started one of these before, like, a mystery dungeon game. I think it was actually this one as well, but I just, like, gave up on it. It was when I was doing Light Platinum, so that was, like, last year, last October. But yeah, these games are a lot of fun, I definitely recommend them. I mean, it's different than playing the usual Pokemon game, you get to play as a Pokemon, among other things, so it's generally a lot of fun. And yeah, I would probably recommend it, probably, but I will recommend it, I guess, for someone who wants to play it. So, as you can see, we gain HP back as we walk around, which is good. And, uh, I think we get more experience if we take them out with moves like Scratch and stuff, so that's why it's definitely better to use moves like that, as opposed to using, like, the usual, like, A tackle that it gives you or something. I don't know, just like a sort of tackle thing, but we've got a Petra Berry, which gets rid of poisoning, that's great. And yeah, berries are actually very helpful in this game, uh, they like, get rid of status inflictions like they do in the main games, or in berries heal up, I think, 100 HP, which is a lot. And, uh, yeah, just use growls, like, weaken its attack, but, of course, use hypnosis and I'm asleep, so, yeah, we gotta wait till we wake up, which is awful, and there we go, and scratch, or tackle takes out, what? I don't know, which gives us more experience, I wanna check real quick, so, uh, let's we'll move up here then, and go for a scratch, and, alright, it seems like we got the same, wow, cheeks up three levels, and learn thunder wave, that's great, so, I definitely want to set that. I want to stop it using, uh, stop him using, uh, just that tackle move too. I want him to use, like, Thunder Shocks. I know he has it. And we're gonna, like, uh, get rid of this, and we'll get rid of Tail Whip too. I love him using Thunder Wave and Thunder Shock, because they'll definitely help me a lot more. You can press B to, like, speed up through the dungeon, and that's definitely helpful, because, yeah, I mean, you get through it faster. You do have this thing known as Hunger, though, as you can see, I'm at 61 Belly. If you run out of, uh, Hunger, you will start to faint. Uh, you'll start losing HP every now and then, and that sucks. You don't want that to happen, really, so... We're just gonna hit down this, uh, last staircase, I think, and see what's going on. So at least we found Caterpie, that's good. Wah! Mommy, where are you? <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually say sniffle, I actually sniffled, so yeah, it's... <laughs> I did it right. We came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting, let's get you out. Okay. Alright, so, my baby's safe. I'm sorry, I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. That's okay. 
It has, been a da it has been dangerous lately with quakes and fishes like that one. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, might I have your names at least? I'm Cheeks, and this is Jaws. Cool. He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes, it's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Cheeks and Jaws. I know it isn't really enough, but please, this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. Alright, so we got an orange berry, that's cool. We also got a Petcha berry, and we got a Ross berry. A lot of berries. Thank you. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Wow, we got a lot of berries. That's pretty nice for that Butterfree, just tanning out berries. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I was sure impressed. So, what are you gonna do? Do you have any plans? Listen, Jaws. If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with stay with me. Oh, okay, then <laughs> that's pretty nice. Well, this is the place. Ah, wow, that's pretty nice place. <laughs> I'd be I, like if I was a Pokemon, I'd be happy to be there. Wow, can't explain it, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but this I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. It might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to wag your tail. It doesn't matter. I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm a Totodot. Okay, Jaws, you're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make you feel- I thought this would be- Let me read. <laughs> I thought this would make a good place for you to live, Jaws. I was sure you'd like it. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from Pokemon here. You know, just like the Fisher Caterpie fell into, for some reason, there have, been ma there have been many natural disasters lately. Because of those disasters, many Pokemon are suffering. I want to help Pokemon in these tough times. I want to help change things so all Pokemon can live in peace. So, uh, well, I liked how you handled yourself when we rescued Caterpie. Would you like to join me on a rescue team? Jaws, with you, I think we could become even the world's best rescue team. How about it? Sure. That's perfect. Alright, whatever. Uh, yeah, we're partners now for, in our rescue team from now on, Jaws. Glad to have you on board. The team name. Well, I don't have one yet. So, Jaws, what do you think would be a good name for us? Hmm. What would be a good team name for the rescue team? I have no idea. <laughs> um. Uh. Will this fit? This is gonna sound. <laughs> oh my god, this is awful. Um. Yeah, we'll go with. <laughs> the Stew Crew, I guess. I don't know. Is it. St <laughs> stew Crew! I like it. It's Rescue teams. <laughs> oh my god, that's awful. That is awful. And that is how Jaws and Cheese began their careers together as a rescue team. And we get the nice introduction. And <laughs> I can't believe I called my rescue team Stu Crew. <laughs> that's so stupid. That was such a stupid name. The next morning. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still Totodot. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Hmm, I don't understand this at all. I feel groggy and sleepy. Not feeling well. I need more sleep. Alright, so uh, let's just hit the hay. I'm not gonna save my adventure just yet. And I think I do I have to actually save to go to sleep. Yeah, I think I do. Wow, so yeah, save failed, whatever. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> I'll just have to like save state, I think. <laughs> I'm feeling refreshed. I still look like a Pokemon, but... Oh, that's right. That Pokemon. I think it was Cheeks. We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Cheeks is doing. I should go out. Alright, so let's head outside. And wow, he's sleeping right outside my door. There's like a way in, you know, where you can come inside. Huh? Oh no. Haha, <laughs> sorry. I was so excited I came out at dawn to wait for you. I must have snoozed off. Anyway, today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. But anyway, we don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe there's something in the mailbox. Ah uh, yes. Give it a look, I guess. And we got the rescue team starter set. Great. 
I knew it'd be here. It's Rescue Team Starter Set. They always give you one if you start a rescue team. And uh, we got a Rescue Team Badge. A toolbox. Pokemon News. That's great. Uh, I like to keep up on my Pokemon News weekly. Yes. There's some good things in there. First off, the Rescue Team Badge. It shows that we're a rescue team. This is a toolbox. Use it for carrying items you find in dungeons. That's about the stuff Butterfree gave us in here now. for now. Items are very useful, so use, let's use them on our adventures. And finally, a, cup, a copy of Pokemon News. It's useful for rescue teams. I'll put the news in the mailbox. You should read it later on. Anything else? Is there any other mail? Maybe not? Well, that's all. Okay, so there's any mail for us after all. If there are any rescue jobs, we'd be getting mail, but nobody knows about us since we're a new team, I guess. <laughs> and, uh oh, I guess someone has heard of us because there's a plepper just coming to drop some mail off. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Well, that plepper just like left right away. Uh, I guess I better check the mailbox then. Maybe it's rescue job offer. What does it say? Bzz, bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic wave followed or flowed through a dungeon. And it stuck together Magnemite and Magnemite. That isn't enough to form a magneton. It's not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. Bzz, bzz, bzz. For Magnemite's friend. What do you think? Do you think we should go? Yeah, let's go. That's a spirit, let's do our best. Alright, so let's head into Thunder Wave Cave. And see what's happening here with these Magnemites. Oh, you are here. Bzz, bzz, bzz. My friends are in this cavern. Bzz, bzz. My friends should be on B6F. Please help them. Alright, so... Yeah, not a good area for me to be as a Totodile, I guess. In a Thunder Wave Cave. But we should be fine. So, we're gonna head to Basement Floor 6. Uh, defeating foes using moves instead of... Yeah, alright, so that's what I said earlier. I wasn't sure which one got more experience, but it looks like just using... Uh, like moves like Scratch and stuff will get you more experience, which is good. And, yeah, we're just gonna try and get through here quickly. So, here we got ourselves a Blast Seed. Which we can use to uh, attack foes. It is like 20 HP worth of damage. So it's not too bad. And as you can see, uh, that Puchiana there, that was running away. Uh, well, it was running away because it became sort of like... No it. They get like sort of... What is it? They don't want to battle anymore, I guess, basically. They get like afraid and they just run away. So, here we have ourselves a Gravel Rock. And we can use that to throw it at uh, enemies. So let's actually just get one of those and put it to set. So I can just do this. And like, uh, chuck a rock at this thing. Okay, I totally missed it. But I forgot you have to be like directly near it, I think, or like locked onto it or something. I don't know. But yeah, the controls are sort of weird. I haven't played this game in a long time, so I'm quite rusty. Anyway, there we go. We didn't have to be like right beside it. We just lobbed at it. And we get 30 experience for that. So not too much, but not, not like, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Not bad experience, I guess. So let's head down here, and yeah, I'm probably like really bad at explaining this game, so I apologize. And uh, you can check your like partner's IQ skills and stuff. There's a sleeping rat over here. I think I'm gonna just like throw a gravel rock at it first. And okay, never mind. I'm just gonna kill it with the gravel rock then. Anyway, we're in rage, so our attack should boost up over time when we use it, which is good. Got some decent special attack going too. That's great. And we gained six or picked up 62 pokey, which is a decent amount actually. So not too shabby at all. I'll uh, just keep going this way then. Grab ourselves an apple here, which can be used to fill up belly, which I did mention back in the first dungeon, we kind of want to make sure it's full, so, or not, like, empty, I guess, so we can just heal up or whatever, or, like, don't get, like, dead, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, that's just showing you if you hold B, you can run faster, I'm, like, I'm trying to, I, oh, okay, um, I can't remember what button it is to, like, change the, uh, like directional thing on this so I'm gonna have to try and figure that out in the meantime but yeah I don't know what I did there when I press select it just showed like the map without this stuff on the screen that was sort of weird gotta make sure I like learn the buttons I totally forgot what they are so 74 pokey and we're just looking for the staircase uh, more pokey here and some gravel rocks and we got a rat attack in the arena coming towards us or need a 
Nita ran female, so let's just scratch you. Move on up here and scratch you as well. And yeah, we're just one-shotting stuff, so that's good. One-shotting things is good, because you know, not there's no trouble really, so let's head down here and uh, see what's happening. So, a lot of apple tea, which is good. And uh, I see an Elekid and a Voltorb, which is not too great, especially when Elekid is lowering my defense like that. So we'll just uh, go for a scratch and not one shot it, which sucks. Thunder Wave missed the, uh, or else it's the, like it's following the Gen 6 mechanics now that Electro types can't get paralyzed. And wow, well, it did a lot of damage. That was 33, so that's not too bad. And uh, yeah, so we have a defense drop. But as you can see, there is a tile here with an arrow or something on it. So if we stand on that, it will get rid of our uh, whatever stat drops we have. So. That's definitely handy, in case you get like low defense drops and you're getting like one-shotted. You can just stand on that and we'll get rid of them, so it's helpful, it's pretty good. Anyway, we have one more floor and we're actually on the floor, or on the area with the staircase, that's great. And we got up to level 8 too, so that's awesome. And we're just looking pretty strong right about now, nice powerful Totodile, which is great. And wow, Cheeks gets up to level 10, so Cheeks is doing pretty good for himself as well. And yeah, we're just gonna head on to the staircase here, so let's proceed. And we found the Magnemites that are stuck together. Oh, there they are! Let's get them out safely! Our body separated! Bzz, bzz, bzz. Rejoice! Bzz, bzz, bzz. Yay! Bzz, bzz, bzz. Yay! Bzz, bzz, bzz. Be thankful, you two! Oh, I like, came out with such a human voice. You are our hero. Thank you! Bzz, bzz. So we get 500 Pokey for that, and we get a Reviver Seed, which is like a uh, revive. And we got a Rossberry too, so that's great. Alright, so things are looking, looking pretty good. I'm glad our rescue mission went well today. Actually, since this is our first job as a proper rescue team, I was really tense and nervous. I'm exhausted now. I've got to go get some sleep. Let's keep up the good work. Tomorrow. See ya. Alright then, so... Looks like uh, we're pretty much good here, and uh, see what's happening. We're sleeping, so could be having some pretty cool dreams, I guess. No, oh, it looks like we actually are. Where? Where am I? Maybe is this a dream? Oh, there's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? Hmm, I can't remember. Well, that was sort of strange, but alright. I think I dreamt something. I can't quite remember what that dream was about. Oh well, today's another day of rescues. I wonder if I check- I wonder if I have any mail. Better check the mailbox. Alright guys, uh, I think that's pretty much gonna do it for me. I got two missions done, as well as a lot of sort of story stuff. So yeah, let's thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this first episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, and I will see you guys for more shortly enough. Catch you then.